Hi, welcome back. We have now Arch Merge installed. I've explained to you the alias. The alias is um, necessary. So let's run mirror or mirrors if you do a typo. And that's going to check here in Belgium what are my fastest Arch Linux servers around here. And it's going to update the mirror list. That's done. Now we have to, we cannot do things like you used to do, something like that, minus S Y U, and update the system. That's one option. No, let's not do it. And there is also this alias stuff we like to use, which is just update me everything, also the AUR. Of course, it's going to be the same thing, but no, no AUR is going to be installed. Since there are only, I think, about seven packages, let's check here. I believe it's, it says somewhere how many packages there are from AUR. And we've really restricted it to the minimum, the things we need. Seven by seven, you see here, the last line. So, okay, we have Arch merged. We have a black screen and white letters and oh, that's fun. Well, it's gonna be, it's gonna go very fast. The only thing you do is stay in here about mm, maybe a minute. You, you just time it. So what we're going to do is get our uh, scripts from GitHub. And it's an awesome command to just say clone me whatever it's on the internet. Git clone me something. And the something you're going to clone is on GitHub. GitHub clone me this one from github.com. That's the, com the company. That's where it is. That's where everybody is going to collaborate with each other because that's the intention of GitHub. You write the code, somebody changes it. And we all get better. Arch Merge Linux. So it's Arch Merge and it's not Windows, it's Linux. So that's how you remember. And then we are on a particular ISO. We are on Arched, merged with a D. And then you decide the desktop environment, i3, budgie, xfce, or budgie, i3, xfce, forgetting one, and open box very soon. So amd, xfce, enter, cloning into amd, xfce, what's happened, what's happened, ls, we have now a folder. So we can go into change directory into the folder and ask a list again. So this has been created with this git clone thing. The thing you find on the internet is now on your system. And the only thing you should run, and then we're already graphical if you want to, or stay in this black screen, is install the display manager. We're choosing for LightDM and we're choosing for XFC desktop. And that's our choice. So. At some point in time, you'll get uh, smart enough and, and efficient enough to know that maybe you rather prefer GDM or other display manager. So it's up to you to decide what you use, but then probably it will be in phase four because you, if you check the websites, the intention is finally after a few years of working and using Arch Linux, say, okay, I'm gonna try a complete clean install the Arch way and format my hard disk and so on and so on and so on. Yeah, but that's phase four. This is phase two, actually. So there you go. The thing is going to install packages. You just open the files and read what I'm installing, sudo pacman minus s and so on. So we're gonna, s stands actually for synchronize, but oh, hey, it's a uh, installation of packages. Voila, the main thing is that we are changing the last line. We make a symbolic link to the default target and the default target is, and that's where we're pointing it to. We're pointing it to the graphical target. We're telling him, forget about this terminal guy. Please give me a graphical thing. That's what actually what the line says, more or less. So <clears throat> we could go, we could stay here and just go install the rest. If you like that, if you think that's okay, you just go ahead. If not, you best reboot now. So we say sudo reboot. 
and you're already graphical. This is LightDM and this is XFCE. I wanted to show you this because in phase 4 archway thing, you know, this is what you get. It's not nice, it's not an, a distro like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. You pop it in and you have a complete system. No, the archway is building up from scratch. Yeah? So we skipped a, a lot of things already with our arch merged, the complete installation uh, of, of uh, the, the, the wiki guide first part formatting everything and all that has been skipped but even so this is what we get and so it's not nice and it's um, ready to be themed icons and so on a new a nice plank and so on and so on so let's go to the home like this right mouse click open terminal like that and now we have here this thing well that was not smart of me open up here otherwise otherwise you will not be inside the folder this is where you are in the amd xfce that's why you need to be in there and then open terminal okay so when i press ls it's the same as the other one yeah of course we stay in the terminal but we're a little bit more graphical but it's the same thing we're gonna run these scripts there is a tutorial if you want to know more about these scripts uh, I think it's in Budgie or was it in i3? You just check it out. There is a video in our article on archmerged.com where I go more in detail about these scripts. But basically, basically, you just Google Arch Wiki. You go there and you see uh, what do I do to get sound? What do I do to get Bluetooth? And so on. And just copy paste it what was on the wiki in the file. And now I'm just running them rather than remembering all these stuff I said why not make a file a script and then rerun it every time I have to reinstall the arch uh, installation then I just run these things problem solved don't need to remember all these things and all I do is uh, well use my time wisely I'm probably going to pause the video from time to time, so you see me move my mouse over there and I'm gonna pause. <laughs> but not this time yet, so this is still very fast, but this one is the first one where I will be pausing. Now, it's all up to you, what you run or what you don't run. I have a Bluetooth headset, you know that by now, and no, well, I need Bluetooth. So if you don't have Bluetooth, don't install it. If you don't have printers, don't install it, and so on. So this is Samba. What well, Samba? Samba is sharing. If you don't want to share your a folder with somebody else, don't install it. But what if? What if you do want to share it? You say, okay, anybody can log in into my computer with the name Eric, but I should know the password, which is Eric and Eric. So now anybody can log in into my. Uh, PC, but just the folder, of course, I share, not everything else. So that's Samba for you, and this is the first time I'll pause, because this is going to take forever. Okay, we can go ahead again. If you don't know where you at, where you, what the last thing you ran, you go with arrow up, and you see it was 140. Unless, if you want to go that way, or just look at the left side, and it's 150 you need. That's the next one. If you want to see the computers on your network at home, other systems, then 150 is what you need. Then we're going to install everything that's on the Arch repo, meaning those are the things that are sudo pacman minus s. That's the normal installation on Arch. Pacman is our package manager. And if you want to know more about package manager, I, well, first of all, I would say type man pacman it's right under your nose this is what you need to know but if you want to see a more graphical representation go to the arch wiki pacman and start reading it's your package manager it's your updater is the most important thing on your system so you really need to know these things so pausing for a while 
Yes, it's finished. So this was 200. Then you go up. And 300 is the next one. This is the big one, and that's the one that's going to go wrong a lot of times. Why? Because it's the AUR, and the AUR, this fold, this script is going to use this folder. And this folder is filled with all kind of uh, programs, and all you need to know is the name. Because we're installing Dropbox, we're installing Edgeever, Fox Reader. Well, we're not installing all of them. It's just uh, a selection of uh, applications, and what you put in here. And this one is going to be installed and LibreOffice is not the way to open it, really it isn't. So what you do is right mouse click, open with, open with other application, Atom, use as default, done. Now it's, it's not forgetting that a bash file should not be opened with uh, LibreOffice. So show the welcome guide when opening Atom, no thank you very much, get away. So that's good done. You want to help, don't want to help? Just you uh, decide, and then the welcome guide, and that's gone as well. So what we do is just take a pick, not everything, but we pick stuff out of the list, and we install it. If you don't want to install it, it's so easy. Just put a hashtag in front of it, keep it like it is, and it will not be installed as simple as that. All right, um, so we're waiting for number 300 to go. That means the AUR, things go wrong on the AUR. It's an Arch user repository. There are, it's a, Arch Linux is a cutting edge distribution. You get the latest of the latest of the latest. So, and even that you can even go more and go into the testing repositories, but I keep out of those. But even then things happen that you install something and it won't work anymore. And then it's um, frustrating, of course, um, then you have to figure out why it's not working anymore. But that's typically AUR, that's um, that there are signature failures and, and stuff like that, and you have to figure that out. So beware that it's quite normal that in this script you get maybe error messages, and then it all ends. Because I've set in the script, let's open it up, let's teach a little bit scripting here. It says here, if there is an error anywhere, stop. So if you don't want this, and that's maybe a good thing to set here, and then you put a hashtag in front of it, and then it has an error, and it says I can't install this, and it just continues, and it goes inst in, it continues installing all the rest. So if the first one has a problem, well, all the rest will be installed as well, if you hashtag that out. This is, of course, for me as a developer to see, is there anything wrong? So I'll, I'll see when it's... Uh, mid mid script it, it stops then i know oh, i should check it out why is it stopping here so that's the signal for me so get rid of it if you have errors somewhere and then everything else will be installed but not just that one that gives the error pausing here because this is a very long script there's also something else i would like to point out so we go from a small number to the largest number. Okay, that's fine. This is the basics, you know. It's um, the system, installing the system, and the Bluetooth and all that. This is about sudo pacman minus s. So we're going to install everything from the Arch repositories. This is installing everything from AUR, so the Arch user repository. This is something specific. I I uh, included it if you want to go from bash to zsh, then you can do it so here. And these two guys are for the AOR of Arch or AUR, but they are the same. The, the common thing is that they are for distro specific. So in this thing, I'll put anything for i3, budgie, xfce, and then every other desktop environment. So these are the applications that are specific to that desktop environment, to that. Um, away and these are things 600 will become things that are uh, what we call the rolling release what's a rolling release and it means arch linux is not giving us uh, arch linux 6.0 6.1 6.2 or uh, like 18.2 linux mint so it keeps on rolling you install it and it's um, keeps up updating and and that's it really 
and um, well we are making more and more packages to become rolling ourselves so Arch Merch has a lot of uh, packages already and um, well that's this we install everything that we need or require in XFCE because we don't need the open box packages we just need XFCE packages so that's what we're doing here in the meantime this one is going to ask me a question here Dropbox has been installed, great. Now he wants to install InSync. And InSync is an application for um, Google Drive. If you have a Google Drive, then you can install InSync. It is um, paid, so I mean, you, it's not free. You have to buy uh, this thing. And you can try it out for 15 days, so that's good. And see if you like it. Uh, anyway, I wanted to tell you that there is um, something you need to know. If you want to try out InSync, you need GTK Plus to be um, not activated and you need to not activate it in here. So QT config dash QT4 and set anything but GTK Plus and then you can start InSync uh, start. Okay, so that's something you should know. It's a tip, it's a bug, they know it, I've reported it, um, that's it. And if you know it, then it's not an issue anymore. But um, voila, there we go, we're installing InSync and going ahead to the left. So 800 is about auto login. I really hate to come to my system and he, him asking my password. Uh, it's so pointless, so time consuming and for the rest of my life, no. So I want to auto login straight away and that's what this script does. It's going to change some parameters in the lightdm.conf and say, let's auto login Eric here. And the last one is a fix we need, probably just for a few months. I don't know, so it depends when they will make this fix. There is this microcode error, not everybody has it, so that's a good thing. But if you do have Intel, then you get this line up there that there's an error and, and stuff like that. So running this thing, uh, will omit this error, the error will be gone, but it's okay, it's just a warning, there's not really an error, it's just a message that's annoying. So if you are annoyed with that message, you run this thing. And that's about the, the convention of our names. AOR was for this script here, and also for the other one, and the personal one is a an, an folder that I sub I apply to my system so files that I like and settings that I like that I don't want to do all over again on every system I just install them and I'll go into them later let's pause again okay the last thing has uh, installed so now I'm gonna skip 310 which is a ZSH software it's bash and bash is what you have let me show you if you type echo give me the parameter that's my shell and then you know that we're working with the bash prompt bash uh, and if you would like to change you can run the zsh you'll get also nice themes with it so that's why basically i use it i still have a lot to learn about this zsh and there's still a lot to to fine tune and tweak but that's for a later date. So I'm gonna run 400. And that's the specific things we need on our system. I really like my D menu, which is my Super Shift D shortcut to get into my menu. We have it in Arch Merch and I want it as well here. So if you don't want that, that's fine. Just don't run it. Linux is about freedom, so that's why I always say this is the best way to go. I can give you an ISO, a lot of work for me, a lot of maintenance for me, but this is better because this is a file and a file you can change, you can edit, you can delete, you can run it, basically. So that's super. There's more flexibility, there's more freedom for you. Now we're gonna install number 500. That is everything we're gonna need from the AUR that's specific to XFCE. So stuff that we need on XFCE and not need on other distros. So that was number 500, 600 is the plank. We want our plank themes. This is not that one. That's a panel from XFC, nothing to do with the plank. I'll show you in the, the coming tutorials. 
So that was number 600. 610 is the next one. These are the arc themes. You know the blue arc theme from Horse 3180. I am a fan, a huge fan. So I made an arc colora script. You can get them on the GitHub. You can take one of the 60 million colors out there and change the blue color from arc to any color you like. That's what I did here. It's already about, I don't know, 10 colors or so. Enough to go with any wallpaper. So that's number 610. 620 is our conky. We have conkeys on our system in Arch Merch. And of course the question came from you guys. Okay, we want those conkeys as well. Can you install a conky Zen that you have in Arch Merch and in XFCE in Openbox? Say, oh, sure, we can. So here it is. This is your conky setup. Aha. Do you want to remove these packages? So I've, um, I don't know if I can say no confirm. I think I did that. So let's take a look. Let's go into the code. Yeah, it says here, no confirm. Let's save this. Let's say, control C here. Let's run it again. So it's skipping everything that's not wanted, not needed, and that's better. So now it's gonna ask nothing to the user and it's just gonna remove the conkey and install a new conkey. So um, how, why, why I'm, I'm, I'm working with this um, GitHub thing, it's just awesome. Let me show you. If you have a an, an problem somewhere, you can there can two things I can do now. I have changed the code in here. Uh, we've seen that the code has been added. No confirm has been added. And this is the correct code, but I'm in virtual box. So two things, or I set up my GitHub with this little thing and I push it back to my GitHub with this uh, application, or I roll my chair over there, go to the other computer, change it, update it to the cloud, to GitHub, and then get it back on this one. And that's what you will do, be doing, so I'll show you that. What happens in a month's time? I figure out that there are better ways to, to make the script and to run the script and change the little things, eh? dots on the eye, you know. And then um, what you do, I'll show you. But let's pause here. So I'm going to go to the other computer, make the change, and come back and show you. So the change has been made. We're talking about 620. We've added this line. Let's delete that again, save. And what you do is uh, from time to time, you just keep this folder here. And then from time to time you say, let's open the terminal and just type git pull. What you're doing is you're going to synchronize everything that's online and all the changes that I've made, you see them coming in. So indeed, I made the change to 620, but also to the Sardi extra icons while making this tutorial. So I'm working and multitasking, let's say, and I have changed already this script and the other script. Okay, so what did happen? I changed this. There you go. So you have now the latest version of this script on your system just by doing git pull. All right, next up is number 800. 800 is how to log in. We're at version three already. And what's your login, he asks. It will be used to add this user to the group Auto Login. You can look at the wiki and that's the page there. And my name is Eric, my friends. And that's it, all set now. I'm not gonna run the fix microcode. I don't have it, I'm in VirtualBox now. But uh, if you do, you can run that one as well. And that's okay. So let's now reboot. Before we start in the personal folder, let's now do a reboot and see what we get. So applications, logout, restart. Ta -da! We have now this system already. Don't like this uh, look at all. Probably you have the same feeling I'm having now. So there is this application, accessories, and we have a variety. Let's run it. Continue. No thanks. 
change the wallpaper and start would be nice every five thing let's get some wallpapers very fast download the wallpaper every one minute that's gonna speed things up so we'll get nice wallpapers in so next okay let's keep that one and that's one from variety i'm sure that's not xfc at all so we have here now a system that's already a little bit tuned you can see here that we have installed a lot of stuff as you can see redshift screen key develop and things atom brackets melt very interesting made lots of tutorials already about that sublime text well mentioned melt a lot of times and made a few tutorials would be correct clementine g radio radio tray if one gets broken you got the other one have some music there you go a lot of things have been installed now um maybe i should include as well this one open terminal because we tend to go often to this one and open terminal is sometimes not the one we need we have now this xfce terminal and you know that Arch Merge is using, using the termite and why are we using the termite it's small it doesn't depend on a lot of things and we have 80 themes 80 color themes to use that's the main point so we would like to have our termites is that possible yeah sure we have to find for the preferred applications or the exo preferred application as it's officially called so a mail reader if you want to have a mail reader utilities if you don't want browsers you do one of these choose one of them utilities tunar is great xfc no other and then you just type termite and you say okay and from now on right mouse click is gonna be a transparent one it's gonna be awesome look and we can also do a neo fetch because it is installed already so neo fetch and there you have it we are on arch merged that's the kernel and that's xfce for you we had, don't didn't change any theming yet so let's do that because um, no let's keep that for the tutorials theming now you can go run the folder the personal one um, we're gonna do this because it's important to do it at least once and then you decide and read the code and know what's going on and why I do it. Because there are a lot of shortcuts inside Arch Merge and none in Arch Merged. Ctrl Alt T doesn't do anything. Super Return doesn't do a thing and so on. So getting a convenient, not a convenient, getting a user friendly environment again. Like in Arch Merge, we need our shortcuts and all these things, the personal folders. So I'm gonna run some scripts here. You just follow ahead and check out this one to the site. What's gonna happen now? So you always want to go to the dial downloads, your documents, your music, your pictures, your videos. Data is something you don't need maybe. InSync is something you don't need, but icons, you're gonna need it at some point in time. This is the user share icons. This is your personal theming, your themes from the system, user share themes. Ariola Conkeys is a different kind of conkey that's um, also installed. You can use this rather than the other conkey from Arch Merge. Then you have the conkey folder that we still need to install. The applications, all the user share applications, this you can run. Variety, all the settings and all. if you like a wallpaper, it's in here somewhere. And then you put it on your Dropbox. The hidden config folder, the hidden local opt is where they install stuff that's not usual when green clamors and this is your temp folder where everything is going to be well built and extracted and so on so actually the only two things you can discuss about are these and the other ones you do need to get to it very regularly okay back to eric amdxe and personal and we are at 200 firefox has not been started yet you need to start firefox first why because now he has created a folder and when he has created a folder then you can copy paste the fix and the, this is a fix to read some of the letters that are unreadable like in, in input boxes in YouTube, for instance. If you, you choose for a dark theme, then your, your letters 
are you know, the color of the fonts assume you have a dark background and it's not so you can't read it that's a fix and then the GIMP thing GIMP scripts and all that that I use my personal settings for variety that I like it's gonna be copy it paste it and then the root there's nothing new here that's just the same root as the other one but once in the future we'll make maybe other root files bash rc which will we do changes and then they are in here this is your personal settings folder here you can copy paste anything that you like put it in here and next time you install arch merge it's just running a script rather than setting it manually every time again that's why we script to do not waste time. 400 and 410 are essential to me, that is. So these are the XFCE settings. These are my shortcuts. Yeah, among other things, maybe we'll add more in the future, but these are my shortcuts. And last but not least, I do miss my tuner settings if I do not have them. So right mouse click gives us this drop down. If I run this one, then the drop down will be different. The only thing I need to do is restart Tunar, and I wouldn't know how because you just need to um, quit probably. Yeah. So Tunar minus Q. What you do normally is log on and log off. So if you start Tunar again, right mouse click gives us something else now. Search with catfish, compare, open folder as root, and the conky. But it's not fixed yet. So that's for another tutorial. So there you go. We've set everything. Um, we ran any every every little script. Yeah, that's that's not a folder. That's a minimize. <laughs> I always do that. So it's better to go over here and then click here. We ran everything in here and also the personal one. All right. Next tutorial is gonna be about making a little bit more beautiful because. Um, Besides of the wallpaper, we've changed nothing really. All right, cheers.